remove the spirit of coconut head, remove it, tie it inside nylon, and what? And throw it away. Hi, my loves. Hi. My name is Belinda, and I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. If this is your first time stopping by, hi. <laughs> And this is not your first time stopping by. What's good, my G? How are you doing today? How are you doing today? So I decided today not to do my normal vlog as usual and come and do like a sit down video and talk to you guys, you know, share my thoughts with you guys and encourage you guys in the best possible way I can, okay? I'm gonna put a disclaimer. And this disclaimer is, I don't want anybody to be feeling like, okay, because I'm trying to mention these things or trying to say, or try to call them out. They're not be feeling like, hey, maybe I'm the one that I'm a good, I'm a good person. I too know, I too know, I don't know. The same way I'm calling you guys out and encouraging you guys. I'm also calling myself out and encouraging myself because even the shoe, it can fit inside my leg, it can fit inside your leg, if you're like that. Uh -huh. Stagnation is something that people face normally. It's not a good thing, but it can occur. And it doesn't mean that sometimes you might be doing the wrong thing, or you're not a good person, or you don't have any... See, it, just, it doesn't just mean that you're not a good person, okay, so that you don't end up beating yourself. And I just want to give you some reasons why you're probably stagnant and why you have not come out of that stagnancy okay one of the reasons why you're in the same position or you're stagnant is you are in your head too much yes what i mean by you're in your head too much is you're an overthinker you want to do the next thing you have over thoughts you have thoughts can i move from here to here if i move from here to here what would people say what would this one do what would that one do i will not do this way i will look stupid i will do like this if i do my neck Make a con they suffer because of what is strange I will talk. Ah, uh, uh, you are you are doing you are seeing a lot of things and it is all up in your head. There's this popular quote I've heard that someone said that your fear of looking stupid is what is holding you back. Do you hear it? Let me say it again. Your fear of looking stupid, your fear of you know, you know, looking like you are a this thing is what is holding you back. Sometimes you have to look stupid to move strange that they feed me and uh, what huh and sometimes it can be all up in your head all up in your mind all up in the way you're thinking the way you're viewing whatever you want to do and you just find yourself that you're just on that same spot every single day and stagnation doesn't just happen in just one area of your life it can happen in every area every area and any area you can think of right now okay so the best thing for you is try as much as possible to remove things from your head try as much as possible to once the thoughts want to come in your head like this ge, 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 bind it and what cast it that's no i will do what i want to do and it's going to do what it's going to be good i will do what i want to do even i'm going to look stupid i'm not going to do it okay that's how you're not going to move out of that stagnant position do whatever you want to do and do like you don't even care whatever other people are doing. You don't even look at if other people are doing it. So if other people are not doing it, do what you want to do. So that you can be able to progress in life. Because what is what's the beauty of life if you're not progressing? If you're just in the same position, you are sitting down in the same position. It is good. Okay. So the second um reason why we all <laughs> let me let me say we all can sometimes be stagnant is we are very stubborn. Jesus Christ. Darling, why are you saying all this to me? I had to, I had to actually say this because I feel like some people think that they're not stubborn. Some people are so stubborn that, eh, hey God, there's literally nothing that you would tell them that they will say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And like I already stated, if the shoe fits you, wear it, so don't come and drag my neck. If the shoe fits you, no problem. <laughs> because sometimes you feel like, oh, um, nobody can give you advice. Nobody can tell you anything. You already know everything. As you know everything like this, that's the end of the story. And because you now think that you know everything, you now find out that you're going around in circles because you keep on doing the same thing that you've been doing for a while now. And the funny thing is that you will not be expecting like a different result. It doesn't work that way. So what you're gonna do? Remove the uh, spirits of stubbornness. Remove the spirits of coconut head. Remove it. Tie it inside nylon. 
and what and throw it away. Remove the spirit of stubbornness and tie it in and do what burn it. You can even burn the nylon self. Yes. Because that's the only way that you can be able to progress. Sometimes you need other people. You need to sometimes take advice. I'm not saying that it's every single person that you need to take advice from. Okay. As long as the first step to being able to move is knowing that you do not know anything or you do not have an idea of how you're going to execute whatever you want to execute or whatever you need to execute. That's the first step. Then if you now have trusted people that people that you have obviously people that you obviously trust in your life and you think that okay you want to um talk to them or you can trust them they can help you it's okay it doesn't make you feel like you are you don't have sense no it doesn't make you feel like you don't have to. it doesn't make you feel less of your yourself it makes you want to even grow as a person so that you come out from that stagnation so that you will come out from your stagnation remove stubbornness <laughs> cast and bind the spirit of stubbornness so that you can move forward okay the third thing is, and the last one is economy the economy because i feel like sometimes you might have you might have done everything within your power you know you have you're not in your head you're not overthinking you are you've taken advice you've executed the advices you know you've done a lot but uh, the economy didn't favored it didn't favor it didn't favor you why is it that god is allowing this thing to happen to us that, is it this particular one eh? i don't know how we are going to do it i don't know so of course we don't know how we're going to do it but sometimes the economy cannot just be be, be help help <clears throat> i can't talk the economy cannot just be might not just be helpful at that point in time dollar is rising this one is rising people are putting this one everything is just going up you cannot this one you cannot do one business ah, ah. do you know the solution i think that we can do for this one this one so that will not be stagnant is to just be praying that's all you will be telling god and praying to him that ah about god see me i've done everything within my power how are you going to remove from this stagnation how are you going to remove me from this position that i have been day in day out okay so these are the three things that me on my own part i actually think that can be like the reasons why you know these are i feel like these are like basic ones they might be deeper things but these are the ones that i know okay and just try as much as possible i'm also speaking to myself to you know just try like every day we keep on trying what's the worst that really could happen <laughs> so another thing i quickly want to say is i want to say thank you for 500 subscribers we are more than 500 subscribers now oh my god like at this point i think we are at um let me quickly check just in case one one, one subscriber inside let us check let us check let us check it let us check it so as of now we are at um 520 subscribers Woo! Like, i'm so excited we got to 500 subscribers like some days ago i wish i was able to record that power when we got to 500 subscribers but i didn't see it when i checked what i saw was 504 and i was so hyped i was like oh my god i've been talking about this that you guys know i've been talking about this don't subscribe so that we can get to at least 500 subscribers yeah more than halfway to a thousand subscribers and i am so happy and i'm so excited because one thing i was not understanding prior to now was oh i didn't know i should be consistent and i noticed that since i've been dropping videos you know the past two three months i've noticed that subscribers have been coming you guys have been liking my post and everything but <laughs> the delulu in me last year was thinking that if i just come and post one video per month and I want to post another TT two, three months. I'm expecting people to come. It didn't work. I was the Lulu. Who who vets for me? <laughs> but now that I now know that okay, consistency is key. And if you're a new YouTuber out there, please comment. So I can subscribe to your channel. You can subscribe to my channel. You know, help each other grow. Really, life is not hard. Life is not hard. Life is not hard. So thank you once again. Don't forget to keep liking my posts sharing commenting like i actually love it when you guys comment it makes you feel like oh, you know you know you took out your time to comment you know i like it anyway i hope you enjoyed this video as usual and i will see you in my next video bye